Are you ready? So you all settle in? Good. Um, we're bringing a world record holder onto stage now. He's from Sudan, so the very first Sudanese comedian ever to come on stage at our final friends. Isn't that great? But um, the, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, we have people from Sudan here, please. Anyone from Sudan? No, they're at home. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I won't say anything more. I'm not getting political. Not getting political. But the, the world record that this Sudanese comedian holds is he is the whitest Sudanese in the world. <laughs> because his mother happens to be Irish, okay? So, he's come all the way from Jeddah to be with us today. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together, then take them apart, then put them back together again, and do that very, very fast for Mr. Omar Ramzi! You guys ready to party? Yeah! I'm wearing my party, John. No, I am. Woo! So, uh, yeah, I came uh, all the way from Jeddah, and uh, this is my uh, first time to uh, perform here on the East Coast. Uh, that's actually me with the long hair before the uh, height caught me. So, uh, <laughs> I look a little bit different now. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, this is my, since this is my first time, I'd like to start off by saying when, it, when I say ho, you say bar. Ho! Ho! When I say damn, you say ma'am, damn, damn, damn. 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 Woo. I can do this all day. I think I can keep this up for another 10 minutes, right? Yeah? <laughs> okay, one more easy one. When I say super, you say califragilisticexpialidocious, super. <laughs> points for effort, points for effort, not bad, not bad. <laughs> so, um, yeah, my mom is uh, Irish and my father is Sudanese. So that makes me a, uh, a white Sudanese. Uh, I don't know how that happened, life is weird, life is weird. You don't get to choose these things, they're just put upon you. Um, any other uh, white Sudanese in the crowd today? Yeah, usually it's just cricket, cricket, baby crying. Yeah, we are, a, we are a bit of an endangered species, you know. <laughs> We're up there with the uh, bluefin tuna, you know. We're about to go. Uh, I remember the, um, the Discovery Channel called me up. They're like, are you the great white Sudanese? Why, why, yes I am. Yes I am. I, that, uh, have you discovered me? Yeah. We would like to do a piece about you. Is that okay? I was like, yeah, sure. Sure. But here's the thing. Yeah, it's either you or uh, Bluefin Tuna for this piece. So, fingers crossed. Fingers, damn. Always the tuna. It's always the tuna. <laughs> um, so, my mom is um, straight off the boat Irish. You know, she calls me, Omer. Omer, would you like some more potatoes, Omer? Would you? Some more potatoes with your meal, some spuds, to stay in Ireland, some spuds. And my dad's like, yeah, it's only but I did, but I'm not even a thought of it, and I'm not going to I It's just like so confusing, you know? My family is like United Colors of Benetton and shit, you know? I don't get it, I don't get it. Um, so when I was younger, you know, I had a bit of, a bit of a identity crisis, you know? I didn't know where I was from, you know? <laughs> like all my friends had, you know, one country or less, and here I am with like three, you know. I was born in Jeddah, my mom's Irish, my dad is Sudanese, and obviously I didn't feel very Sudanese, you know. So uh, I, I didn't know where I was from, you know. It was a big issue, it was, it was, a, very, it was a very confused young man, you know. Like, uh, whenever the, uh, the World Cup came, I'd never know which team to support, you know. <laughs> they all suck. Any team that has anything to do with me sucks ass, so. Uh, it's just not fair, it's just not fair. Um, I remember the, um, the first time I met a, uh, a white South African, you know, I was like, so, uh, so Daniel, where are you from? I come from South Africa. Where? South Africa. You come from the South of Africa? That's right. Where do you come from? Um, I come from Earth, I would say, is the best 
answer to that question. <laughs> Earth, mainly. Earth, yeah. <laughs> um, I remember the first time I went to Sudan for a wedding. I was just a kid, you know? And uh, it was pretty strange. <laughs> I was in the airport and people were coming up to me like, what is it? It has arms like us. Is that gold? Is that gold on its head? I said, like, get off me, man, get off me, leave me alone, you know? So, uh, you know, a few days later, I'm off um, playing around with some Sudanese kids and, uh, and my mom was trying to find me, you know? And, uh, you know, she's Irish, so she doesn't speak really good, her, her Arabic is really broken, you know? So she went up to the, the, the nearest Sudani boy. She's like, Fain al Walid al Asfar. Hanak. In seconds, they find There he is. Hi, mom. Are you looking for me, mom? Are you trying to find me? Where is the yellow boy? There he is over there. They can see me coming, you know? <laughs> oh, it's so strange. It's so strange. Um, <clears throat> I remember, uh, see, my friends call me WS, the white Sudani. They actually, that's my name. Hey, WS, how you doing? You all right? Some of them don't even know my name. Like, what's your name again, dude? Just call you WS all the time. What's your? It's it's Omar. Omar. Yeah. I. I so I, at the last show I did in Riyadh, I, I kept on doing jokes about you know being WS, right? And uh, after the show, this guy comes up to me, like older guy wearing a Saudi thobe, brown complexion. He comes up. He's like, um, I am BS. <laughs> I was like, uh, not now, not now. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna deal with this now. You know, this guy, you know, he just enjoyed a lovely comedy show, you know, had a few laughs, and he's depressed. He thinks he's bullshit, you know? What, what's, what, what's wrong with this guy, you know? I just, I just blanked it out. I just blanked it out, you know? <laughs> and then, uh, as I was leaving, I bumped into him again. I was like, dude, what's wrong with you, man? What's, what's the matter, man? Are you okay? Do you need help? Do you have problems in your life? Why do you think you're bullshit, you know? He's like, no, no, no. You are white Sudani, and I am brown Sudani. I was like, you're all brown. You're not special. I'm the special one. <laughs> uh, it's not easy being a white Sudani these days. These days. So, uh, um, I grew up uh, in Jeddah in a compound kind of like this one, you know, like um, Saudi City for Saudi Airlines. And uh, it was all Westerners and yeah, clap for Saudi City. Go ahead. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Represent. <laughs> so, uh, um, you know, it was like, you know, no rules, no abayas, you know, women can drive, just like, just like here, you know. And Noah Baez, yes! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> um, and um, so when I, when I went to London for university, right? And then I came back. And since then, like, you know, um, like 9 11 happened and Saudiization. So, like, all the Westerners left. All the whiteies abandoned me. I was the only one left. The only, all, all my fellow whiteies were gone. You know, it was just me, you know? So I was like, um, I had to adapt to Saudi culture, I had to try and fit in, you know? So I was talking to one of my Saudi friends. I'm like, yo, Ahmed, how'd you guys, uh, how'd you guys uh, pick up girls, man? How's it done? What do you guys do? He's like, Bluetooth. I was like, what is that? I had never heard of it, you know? It was like back in the day. I'm like, what is that? A program, uh, phone, make communication. I was like, okay, okay. So I went out there, got a phone that had Bluetooth, you know? And here I am sitting in a cafe <clears throat> with my friend, and there's a couple girls over there. So I'm like, let me, let me try this out, you know? So uh, I looked at it, I was like, Turn, turn your Bluetooth on. Turn your Bluetooth on. And, and she was like, it's, it's not working. It's, and I was like, shit, what do I do now? Oh my God, what do I do now? I was like, why, why don't you just, why don't you just come over here? We can like talk or, I don't know if this is acceptable or, uh, it worked out. She came over there and we talked. <laughs> Bluetooth. It works. <laughs> it actually works. <laughs> um, the hardest thing for me to adapt to, though, was um, Taftish, the checkpoints. Oh, my God, I hate Taftish. Do you guys hate Taftish? Oh, man. Yeah, did you feel my pain? It's like every time I get into a car, it's like subliminally, it's my mission to find the closest Taftish. I don't know why. It's like I start the car, and you're screwed. <laughs> Again, you know. So here I am, <clears throat> third in the line, you know, cops approaching. But uh, this is, I have a secret power. This is what you do, yeah? If you're white, check this out. If you're white, yeah? So <laughs> I'm, in my, I'm in the car, right? I never have my ID, my papers, nothing. It's not even my car. It's my friend's car. I don't even know who this chick is. <laughs> Why she passed out? This is not good. This is not good. You know, another Thursday night in Jeddah, you know? And 
hearts pounding and freaking out. And then and it's my turn, you know? First, I do the, the wave and the smile, like, I'm innocent. You don't want to stop me. You don't. You do? You do shit. So I, I put down the window, right? And then they say, uh, they say what do they say? They say, um, Whoa. Dude, floss, man. Please. It's too much, you know? Freaky, you know, every time. I'm like, and this is what you do. I was like, rucksack, like a transport, or is that home? I don't know. I comma? I comma. Uh, Anna Maffi Kellum Irby. Maffi, Anna Fi Abyad. White. Whiteness. Did it again. Thank you, officer. <laughs> Works like a charm. <laughs> it's awesome. It's awesome. Um, yeah, so tough teach, man. Trying to, trying to adapt to that wasn't easy. What else, man? Trying to adapt to, um, uh, oh, teaching English. Yeah, I've been, I've been trying to teach English. I say, I say, any teachers in the house today? Woo, there's like two and a half. Two and a half <laughs> uh, yeah, I've been trying to teach English, and I say trying because I keep laughing in their faces, you know? It's, it's, not, it's not about being able to teach. It's just some of the things that they say are just like bizarre, you know? Um, I remember one time uh, I, had a, had a, um, I was trying to teach metaphors. You know what metaphors are, right? It's like one thing that means something else, you know? Like, uh, like it's raining cats and dogs or whatever. It's, it doesn't mean like, <laughs> <laughs> I, no, you know? That would be scary, but like, it, you know, it means that it's raining really hard. So I was teaching my class for ages and ages, metaphors, different kind of metaphors. And then I think they, they finally figured it out. I was like, all right, so who can use a metaphor in a sentence? Teacher, teacher, me, teacher, me, me. I know, I know, I know. All right, Abdullah, go ahead. Yes, teacher, of course. Uh, one day, uh, teacher, uh, uh, I go uh, to Halea Mall. Uh, before this teacher, a meeting girl, Facebook. Oh, teacher, very nice, teacher. Very nice, beautiful. All a beautiful teacher. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I go uh, to Halea Mall. We met for a cup of tea. We met for shisha. We met for guitar. Uh, amazing. Really? Amazing. No. <laughs> and then um, I was trying to teach the difference between um, the two with one O and the two with the two O's. You know, like, also, come on. Wow. <laughs> I was at that for weeks, man. Just, just that, you know? And I, you know, when I finally thought that they, 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 they got the grasp, I was like, okay, so who can, who can show me two different uh, sentences with the two twos? Teacher, teacher, me, teacher, teacher. Uh, the one with the, the one O teacher, uh, for example, teacher, I want to go uh, to the Bagala. Oh, very good. Excellent. Excellent. Good job. Good job. What about the one with the two O's? Yes, teacher, of course. Uh, teacher, the one with the two. Uh, I want to go to the beach. It's very far away. <laughs> that really happened. I swear to God, that happened. Wow. And then I laugh in their faces, you know? That's the teacher. It's terrible. Don't do it. Don't do it. I do not recommend it. Um, one last one, because the red light's on. So I was, uh, I had a really long class one time. And, uh, you know, exams were coming up. People were stressing out, you know? And this one student came up to me, like, teacher, please, teacher. Teacher, I can't, teacher. My brain is melting, teacher. Too much preposition, too much grammar, teacher. Please, we have an oga. I was like, what? Teacher, please, too much, teacher. I need, to, I need to sleep, teacher, please. Please, exam tomorrow, exam after tomorrow, after tomorrow. Please, please, we have an OGA, teacher, an OGA. I'm like, what the hell is an OGA? Teacher, are you stupid, teacher? You teach us an OGA yesterday. I was like, well, come spell it, man, come spell it. Teacher, teacher, an OGA. E-N-O-U-G-H, an OGA. Oh, All right, thank you very much. You've been great. Have a good Thank one. Thank you, Mr. Rami. I'm a Ramsey. Hi, come and join me. How are you doing? Nice set. Nice. Did you like him? Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you very much. Come on, man. What is there not to like, huh? I know, right? The, the, the first black man on my show. I feel like a Oreo, but inside out, like I'm black on the inside. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, it's crazy. Well, Lovely to have you here in the Easter Thank Project. You. As you know, I've asked you to come to both of my previous shows. I know, yeah. Things weren't just right, so... Made it this time. Made it this time. No, really good. <laughs>
and you've really enhanced our show. Yeah. Uh, I guess the question on everyone's minds would be like, how did your parents meet? Sudan and Ireland? I mean, were they at a, a club somewhere? In <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, it was the, uh, the classic uh, doctor-nurse scenario. Ooh. So your dad's a nurse? Props to dad. What? Dad's no, a nurse? My dad, my, no, no, I'd be serious, props to dad. <laughs> dad was a nurse. No, my dad's a doctor and my mom's a nurse, so. Okay, cool. And they met in Dublin, so. Excellent, yeah. excellent. And I happened. And, and then my dad's just like, deal with life, son. You're confused forever. <laughs> and your son will be confused and his son will be... <laughs> It's never going to end, you know? Well, we're both misfits, aren't we? At yes, the end of we the are. Day, we are right? Generation X. Thank you. Yeah. And, uh, and I, I, I do feel your pain when you go to checkpoints. Oh, my as God. As you all know, I've had a few experiences at checkpoints. <laughs> Yes. Really? <laughs> I'm not going to repeat them, no. <laughs> but uh, no, seriously, it's really a great pleasure to have you. It was an honor. Joint. I think the audience really liked you. Welcome to Eastern Province. East Coast. Let's have you back here again, inshallah. Soon. All right, inshallah. Uh, man, thank you. Thank, thank you. Cheers. Have a good night.